went to uh, sewer, he was like uh, uh, less than four years old. Mm -hmm. And being there for 14 months, he forgot that uh, other people exist and the other world exists outside besides the sewer. And mm -hmm. he got used to play with the rats and he thought that this is his life. When we came out from the sewer, he was scared because suddenly he saw the light and, and other people, he was scared and he, uh, he was pulling my mother's uh, uh, coat and I, I want to go back. Mama, I want to go back. Did you feel that is the freedom? Did you, did you have those strong feelings that, that the world is now totally different? Oh, oh, absolutely, absolutely. I was so happy, you know, I was only, always yearning to, to, to see the sunlight and the, the, the flowers and the play with other kids. And we, when we came out, you know, I, I, I felt so happy. Even though I was uh, very, you know, embarrassed and because the way how I looked like, but I, I was very happy. My parents always wanted to immigrate to Israel, but we were always refused. Mm -hmm. And then it came time with this, something they called it odd village. Something mm -hmm. happened. After 56. Yes. And uh, we got permission that mm -hmm. we can leave. And we, when in 1957, we immigrated to, to Israel. How did you feel there? I remember, remember we were standing, uh, you know, in, in a ship that we were approaching Haifa and it was evening and it was so beautiful. This is similar when you go to Genoa mm -hmm. because the Haifa is on the mountains mm -hmm. and you see the lights. It was so uh, beautiful and I was looking at my mother and she was standing, you know, and she was crying. and. Uh, it was very emotional f f for me. I'm, I'm changing. I left all my friends in Poland and then I'm coming to a country that I don't know the language. I didn't know Hebrew. I didn't know English. And, uh, but it, it was also very exciting. Did the people in Israel were interested in your war story or not too much? The, um, at that time, they weren't. In, too, too much interested, you know, about the Holocaust, about that, what, what we've been through, because they used to say, you know, they had a very difficult time too, mm -hmm. that they had a Senna, that they got only one egg for, for a week, you know, it was very difficult with food, mm -hmm. it, things like this. They didn't want to, to know hear. about it. Mm -hmm. No, not about, uh, to, to know about it. And besides the Holocaust survivor, didn't talk about it either. Yeah, it's yeah. it's exactly that the people, the survivors didn't talk for a long, yeah, long for years. for a long time. So maybe yeah. you are so healthy because you did talk about it in yes. the family. Yes, absolutely. Próbowałam dostać się do obozu na Janowski. Kiedy zabiliśmy, zabiłem tego żołnierza, to tam się na... Ciebie całkiem pojebało, kalsarz. Zamierzam spróbować jeszcze raz. Potrzebuję pana pomocy. Ty wiesz, co się stało? Za tego jednego szwaba stracono 50 niewinnych Polaków. Szczepkę powiesili. Szczepkę? Kobieta w ciąży się została. A ty mi więcej nie gadał, Janowski. Nikt. In, uh, 45, yes, for, uh, 45, we immigrated, we left Lwów and we went to Krakow. We left Lvov, you know, in a few hours because somebody came to my father and said, you know, you have to escape because the NKVD, the case right now, you call, they call them KGB, they are after you. They want to send you to Siberia because before the war, you were a bourgeois, you had a private business. Mm -hmm. And this is why, you know, it was maybe in one hour. My mother took a few things and we and ordered the, the fiaker, the doroshka. Uh -huh. I went to the railroad station 
and we were hiding. I, I remember, you know, they, they, they came, the Enkavude came, and they were calling Higer, Higer, Higer. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you've been hiding again? We were hired, yes, we mm -hmm. were hiding again. And Soha, he left, and his family, they left also, the same time? Soha left uh, before us, uh -huh. even, because they, uh, they wanted to arrest him too, mm -hmm. because uh, they thought that he was German spy. And my father went to, to the office uh, with Mark Julius, and, mm -hmm. and my mother, and they said, listen, he, he saved 10 Jewish people. He is not a spy. And they, you know, tried to convince them that he is okay, that he never was a spy. And, but Soha left immediately. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, he and did you meet him in, in Poland? Uh, yes, we stay with him in his uh, apartment for a few days in Przemysl before we went to, to Krakow and he left to Gliwice. And then you learned that he died? Yeah, yeah. yeah suddenly we got the, uh, the news, the telegram came that he died, that he passed away. That means he was killed, yeah. Did you go to the funeral? Oh, yes, we immediately... The went. children also? Yes. We, everybody? Everybody. We went to the funeral and I remember this was the... The worst time for me when I was standing then, there, you know, next to the coffin when he was laying, uh, it, it, it was terrible, terrible. Because for me, he was like a, like a father. Wandia, to dla ciebie. Słowek restawcie. Nic, być więcej. Jak dostał podwyżki. Mieli? Rozpowiadaj. Ludzie są zawisne. So we've been talking about about the first for you public screening and it was the big screening. It was it was kind of the gala premiere in uh, Toronto during the festival. And how did you how did you live through the screening and after the screening? Through the screening, for me, it was, you know, I look at this and uh, I relieve once more. When I saw, saw the movie, it, it came back to me and every, every scene that you were showing, it was so realistic, you know, that I, I, I was shocked. I, I was so moved. I really, I was shaking. And I was keeping, uh, you know, not to cry. And I was only afraid when they called me to the, uh, to the stage. Uh, to the stage. Because it was, um, it was, um, uh, I presented the crew and the actors at yes. the beginning, and I told to the audience that the, it was full big theater. I don't know, it was, it was 1,700 about, people. Yes. Uh, that if they will have the patience to stay till the end of the credits, uh, I will present to them somebody special. And uh, when the credits started, the people started to clap and they stand up. It was standing ovation. They've been very moved. And uh, then I went on the stage with the festival director and I took you in. And it was, and I took, uh, I took you and I told that it's Krisha, this yeah. little Deleted. girl, because the last image of the film is the image of, of little Krisha yeah. looking up. And everybody started to cry. It was extremely yes. emotional. And I started to cry for the first time, really, you know, before when I was doing the movie, you are, you are in some way cold and you have yeah. to be cold. You cannot cry when you are doing the movie because you, be, you, you are losing the perspective. Suddenly this work and the life met together and it was very touching. So I remember two girls in the first row who've been young girls who've been um, um, uh, crying so much that the, that the tears was going like the fountains from their ears. So we promised you a very, very special festival moment. The little girl in the film. 
seven you. years old. thank Agnieszka for her, her terrific job what she did in such a te, uh, about such a terrible uh, part of the history but uh, this is very important and I really really from the depth of my heart I thank you I thank her for the job what she did and I thank for to the organizer that they organize and show this movie during the festival. And I thank all of you for coming and uh, watching the movie. Thank you. You think there is some kind of the moral of the story? When he was writing that you wanted people to know what happened, or you wanted to pass a message also? It did both. I and want, what was the message yeah. uh, for you? The message for me was, you know, to show the people that uh, you have to be uh, persistent and you have to have a hope mm -hmm. that y you can uh, uh, overpower, you know, the, the evil and survive.